Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Make sure you subscribe down below so you won't miss any further videos. Okay, so when I was meditating on your energy, I got a strong energy of <laughs> aggression. Like wanting to fight somebody, being really pissed off at somebody. Queen of Wands coming up in the deck. So you very well could be a little bit angry with someone in your life or someone who um did make you angry or do something to piss you off has come back around into your life and you're feeling those emotions again something along those lines just very aggressive energy which i completely understand because the past month that i've had and i had a i have a pisces moon so yeah i definitely can relate so this is going to be for love and spirituality for the sign of pisces sun moon rising and venus i apologize if you hear people talking in the background those are neighbors and uh can't really do anything to help that so the death card the emperor <clears throat> and the hermit card are coming up right away so with these three cards being together it looks like as scorpio season uh comes to an end or as scorpio season progresses you are learning how to become more independent is what i'm hearing some of you have could have been forced into this independence meaning that you could have been relying on someone heavily and now you are like i said being forced to rely on yourself so it could be that you were relying on someone financially or you could have been relying on someone emotionally and now like i said as scorpio season progresses it looks like you are going to have to become more and more uh, self-sufficient because this person may be going into isolation or kind of shutting you out and so you may need to learn how to take care of yourself that's what i'm seeing so we'll put those cards back in the deck though and let's pull for the past position and again i apologize if you hear talking those are neighbors and i can't do anything about it it's driving me crazy i know Pisces past position I just feel so angry like <laughs> tap into your energy I just feel so angry like something just has really pissed you off it feels like so if you resonated with the three cards that I pulled it could be that that person withdrawing from you or um, just switching up on you could have made you feel very hostile towards them so like I said I can relate because nobody wants to have their time wasted or no one wants to have just like uh the rug just like snatched from underneath them and that's what that's the energy that i'm kind of uh picking up so okay nine of pentacles five of wands so in the past position, we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Five of Wands in the reverse. So again, the Nine of Pentacles talks about independence. So you probably became single in the recent past, um, left a relationship, or you could have just been wanting to feel more independent. Some of you could have been single for a while, or some of you could have just left a relationship. But um, all in all, like I said, it's like you just wanting to feel good being by yourself wanting to feel good being single and alone a lot of you could be isolating yourself from a lot of people that you've been around because they are causing nothing but drama and conflict in your life so this could be the energy that i was picking up on earlier um it could be people around you that are kind of aggressive and when you're around them because you're a pisces and because you absorb energy so easily you um you become aggressive right along with them um they bring out like this this side of you like the they flare your temper up is what i'm seeing so you may have had to separate yourself from those type of people or separate them yourself from people in general who just make you want to fight like i don't know what else i don't know how else to explain it it's like people that just take you there like they just push all the right buttons and you just want to snap on them is what i'm seeing very aggressive energy but like i said um you could have moved yourself away from those people so that's a positive thing so it's like you're removing yourself from the situation before it gets any more hectic than it already is so yeah it's so weird because like the nine of pentacles energy is usually such like a, a good energy like it's all serene she's in a garden you know it looks all peaceful but the energy that i'm picking up is like you have to put yourself in this energy because 
whatever situation you were in or whatever people you were around, they were just making you like want to lose it. So you had to like put yourself into this uh, period of separation or isolation and move away from that energy. So I feel like that that's a good thing <laughs> that you're like catching yourself before things escalate. I am getting the feeling that for some of you, uh, you were dealing with someone who was a bit conflict avoidant. So again, you had no choice but to uh, find your independence or to be out on your own because whoever you were dealing with liked to, likes to avoid conflict, doesn't like to face it head on. So you could have wanted confrontation with that person and they don't want it with you. Um, and it could be that you didn't even want anything any type of arguments or anything you could have just wanted to talk or discuss or to resolve the problem but i'm getting the energy of someone who even when you just want to talk and resolve the problem they still see it as a fight so they like push you away or they isolate themselves because they just don't like to even talk about things like they just like i said they're conflict avoidant they see every conversation or discussion as an argument so you could have had to actually break up with someone like that or they could have broken up with you um but the good news is that that energy is in the past from what I'm seeing. So let's pull for your present energy. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to put that to the side. Present energy for Pisces. Hierophant. It's so crazy because the energy that I'm feeling from you, I usually pick it up from fire signs. So you could have heavy fire in your chart or you could be dealing with a fire sign. Also, sorry if I'm not looking directly into the camera. I know some people comment like, it's not that many people, but I have seen some comments like, wait, why do you look like off to the side and not at the camera? I have like a bright light literally right behind the camera. And it's like looking into the sun whenever I'm trying to look into the camera. That's why I keep looking down. So, the Hierophant is here in the reverse. Oh, interesting. What I'm just hearing is that that message that I just said was meant to be delivered to you. So the person that you were dealing with, if they are, like I said, avoiding you or they're conflict avoidant, it's because they don't want to look into the light. Like you show them something about themselves that they don't really want to see. Um, so they just kind of retreat and they just don't want to, it's not that they're really avoiding you. They are avoiding you, but they're more so avoiding themselves. They don't want to see the truth or they don't want to acknowledge the truth or face the truth or tell the truth, something along those lines. So that's a specific message for some of you. Pull one more for the Hierophant here. Okay, Hierophant, Temperance in Reverse. So it looks like if you were committed to someone for a long time, them retreating from you or you having to retreat from them, it is causing you to feel very energetically imbalanced. Um, you could have been very enmeshed with this person is what I'm seeing, meaning that you have such a strong pull or connection to them that when you're away from them, it almost feels like you can't function um, because you're like so... Like, I'm getting the energy of people who they feel like they are one with each other. So this could be someone that you're married to um, or that you were married to, that you were planning on getting married to. But it just feels like when you're away from this person, you kind of feel like you are half. Like, you, you feel like you're not whole without them. Um, and that could be the lesson within this connection, how to feel whole on your own or how to become more independent. Because a lot of the cards that came out have to do with independence or finding your independence and not having to rely on someone emotionally um, for your own happiness. So it looks like a lesson that you could be learning through the situation, like I said, is how to become whole and to not feel like you're half of a person without a specific person being in your life. I'm going to pull one more for that. I'm also hearing that some of you are needing to wait until Sagittarius season. Um, trying to see what else that message is trying to tell me. Wait until Sagittarius season until you... Okay, I lost it. 
wait I heard wait until you wait until Sagittarius season so when does Sagittarius season even start at the end of November I'll wait until Sagittarius I'm not sure sorry I lost the message could have been wait until Sagittarius season to try to reach out possibly but I don't want to say that because I don't but I said I lost the message so let me pull one more for, the, for that cups in reverse so all three water signs got very similar messages so the three of cups coming out in reverse in the present moment this could be a situation where you were very close with someone or a group of people and now you're being forced to the messages coming through is very strange it's like I feel like this situation's done, but it's not really done, if that makes sense. Like, the message that's coming through is kind of like, you are very careful about who you let into your circle, and you have good judge of character. So, if these are, like, close friends that you've had for a while, and you have had a falling out with them, it could be that you just need time apart from each other, and then eventually you will be able to reconcile and come back together. Is what I'm hearing because I feel like you'll know who I'm talking to like if I, this is applying to you you'll know who I'm talking to it's like some of you have very good friends or um, gosh what am I hearing I just don't feel like this is finalized like I just don't feel like this is something that is completely done and over with even though all these cards are in reverse or you could be feeling like that like the, the situation isn't finalized I'm getting a strong energy of friends, but it could be a lover as well, obviously. Um, a lot of escapism. So I just feel like there's problems amongst a connection and someone's trying to escape from them instead of facing them, but ev eventually they will have to face them. And when it's time to face them and they are able to work through whatever issues they have, that's when both people can try to s talk and work it out. Because I do feel like it's not finalized or you feel like it's not finalized but all in all I'm getting like an escapist type of energy this could be you or this could be the other person okay you are a Pisces so that would make sense if the escapist energy was you um, be very careful about the ways that you are coping with this situation because you could be uh, overindulging drinking a lot possibly like I said, it just it feels to me like you just really don't it, it really feels like you don't know how to cope emotionally without this person or without these people or they don't know how to cope without you. And you're hoping that they'll return or they're hoping that you'll return. It's very confusing energy. Please comment down below if this is resonating because I am confused about the messages already. And I'm also getting like overheated. So I just it's really strange really strange energy it feels like you know when you drink a lot and it's even though it's the winter time you feel hot like you walk outside and you still feel burning up hot because you drunk so much or because you drink liquor um that's the energy that i'm getting so i do feel like some of you are overindulging as a form of escape uh from whatever the situation was i feel like overall this situation is teaching you like i said how to feel whole or how to find happiness on your own and how to self-soothe and become more self-sufficient um learning how to take care of yourself emotionally and again, this could go for friends or this could go for uh, romantic partnerships, family. Sorry if it's confusing. I'm really trying to, I'm trying my best to connect. Um, like I said, the energy is just kind of all over the place. Okay, so for November. Let's see what's going on for November. Queen of Cups. The Ten of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands is coming up. In the month of November, it looks like you are going to be tempted to put in work into a situation that will leave you completely and totally drained with this Queen of Cups. And I feel like a lot of you are battling with some type of addiction, whether that be drug addiction, alcohol um, addiction, 
love addiction, addiction to a person. It's something that you are addicted to that keeps you drained and keeps pulling you back. And you keep on putting in a lot of work towards it. And it doesn't have to be um, physical work. It could be just mental and emotional work. It takes a lot out of you to be addicted to this thing. Because it's something that's, it's like you're addicted to something that's uh, obviously negative. Addictions are always negative because addictions are things that are uh, compulsive. Like you can't control them. It's like you naturally do them whenever you're feeling some type of discomfort. It could be an addiction to social media. It could be addiction to anything. It's like anything that gives you any type of relief in order to uh, mask whatever pain that you're in, you can you can develop an addiction or a reliance on whatever that is. And like I said, that can be on anything, anything that makes you feel distracted or relieved that can mask whatever pain that you're in. And it looks like in the month of November, you're going to be very tempted to continuously give to that addiction and feed that addiction. And with the King of Pentacles being here, I'm seeing that the only way that you're gonna be able to really get over this is by choosing to really step into your power and use all of your willpower and all of your, um, what am I hearing? Willpower, determination, discipline, like it's not going to be easy to break yourself away from whatever this cycle has been or whatever this pattern or addiction has been. But you do have the ability to do so with the King of Pentacles coming up. You are coming up as the King of Pentacles. So you have the power to basically grow anything that you put your mind to. Anything that you put your mind and energy into is going to flourish. And that goes for the good and the bad. So it looks like you're needing to starve whatever this addiction is or whatever this uh, situation is that keeps you going back and keeps you drained. It looks like in the month of November, you're needing to starve it and feed positive things in your life like feed things that you want to blossom into something bigger so it's like what is that story how that one story goes where um the grandfather is telling his grandson um there's two wolves in your mind and one is like the negative one and one is the positive one um and they fight each other and something along those lines and then the grandson goes okay but then who wins and the grandfather goes whichever wolf you feed i know i probably butchered the hell out of that story <laughs> please don't drag me in the comments um but basically the gist of the story is that um there's like these two wolves and whichever one you feed is the one that's going to win and become the strongest so it's like feeding only the thoughts and the habits that you actually want to grow so if something is it like keeps you stuck or keeps you um drained if you continue to feed that that's what's going to grow in the month of november if you turn your attention elsewhere and feed something more positive that's what's going to grow in november so it's like you have the decision of which direction you want to go in this month you can stay back here and be drained and depressed and upset and continue to feed that energy or you can put the work energy effort and discipline into positive things that are actually going to build your confidence. And something that also builds your confidence is when you say you're not gonna do something and then you don't do it. So the more you resist temptation, the more confidence you start to build within. Let me see if I'm getting anything else. Some of you are definitely needing to watch your diet in the month of November too. I know that uh, winter is coming up on the East Coast. It is getting colder. So if any of you struggle with seasonal depression with this Queen of Cups card, um, you may need to do some research on your diet and how to switch up your diet in order to get the right nutrients that you need to kind of to try to combat that. And also um, look into a light therapy box is what I'm seeing. And they do sell those on Amazon. And I used to use those back when I had seasonal depression, but I don't anymore since I went vegan. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's for a group of you. So it looks like the month of November is really going to be up to you. Like it's on your shoulders of what you are choosing to focus on and what you're choosing to indulge in. And I feel like you're going to be very tempted to go backwards. The Justice card and the Tower card. Especially if you are in a situation where you feel like it's kind of unfair that you have to give it up because of how much you put into it. Um, if you seek out any type of justice or you seek out any type of revenge, it's going to end like this for you. It's going to end in disaster. So let karma have its way. Uh, don't try to balance out the scales on your own, you know? 
just let karma do its thing any energy that was put out into the world it will always be returned to sender so don't in the month of november just be very mindful not to be spiteful or vengeful or feel like you have to balance out the scales yourself like you have to go in and do something to make things equal or even things are going to equal out or things are going to balance out on their own is what i'm seeing don't reach out to a past person either this month because it's going to re-traumatize you and I know that might sound dramatic but you might think that you're over that that may, may sound dramatic I mean you might think that you're over a situation and now you can go back and talk to the person or you can go and check their social media now because it's been a minute and you're over it that's going to re it's going to re-traumatize you it's going to like bring you right back into that energy that you were once in with them and it's going to remind you of whatever they've done to you in the past so be very careful of that so I'm going to let you guys see the cards um and um, I've been letting all the signs, I've been letting the uh, the water signs or the past two signs that I've done, I let them see the cards because it can trigger your intuition. So in case any messages come through to you in the cards, you know, you can look at the cards and see. So I'm going to show you them. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, Pisces, so here are your cards. Just take a second to glance at them and see if any intuitive messages come through to you. So I feel like in the month of November, the overall theme is finding your independence because it looks like a lot of conflict is leaving your life. Um, possibly people that you're close to have already left your life. And this is a reoccurring theme for water signs. So I'm thinking that the water signs for the month of November are really building up their own sense of self-confidence and self-reliance like learning how to really nurture your own emotions and not looking for that outside of yourself um can be very difficult with the hierophant card being there in the reverse because i feel like you are very used to operating a certain way when it comes to your emotions or when it comes to your connections and now you're seeing that that way no longer works for you so now you're being asked to operate in a different way and it can be something that is a bit overwhelming it can be a bit painful um but you know anything that's worth having is worth fighting for so you have to be willing to fight for yourself instead of uh, constantly fighting for um, other people to stay within your life so give yourself that same respect and fight for yourself in the month of November and work really hard towards finding that balance and finding that inner peace despite the fact that your external environment is not reflecting that it could seem like your external environment is going to be really chaotic um, and it's only chaotic because it's things just have not worked out the way that you wanted them to. I'm not saying chaos like people are fighting and screaming and yelling. I'm saying more so that um, the things that you wanted to happen or the people that you wanted to stay or the things that you wanted to come into fruition may not have worked out the way that you envisioned them in your head. So that can make a Pisces feel very um, out of sorts and off balance because we do have a tendency to really fantasize about what it is that we want and we have a tendency to idealize the situation and then that can make us feel extremely off balance when things don't work out the way that we saw them in our heads. And I say we because I do have a Pisces moon so you know like I said I'm right there with you guys I know this firsthand so uh yeah I just feel like just because things didn't work out the way that you saw them in your head you have the ability to switch your focus and to dream of something else uh fantasize about something else um and something more that's more in your control because like I said as a Pisces it's very easy to idealize people and to idealize uh situations where we want people to fit a certain mold in our life that they just can't because they don't have those traits but the way that we can take this and turn it into something positive is by fantasizing or by idealizing our own futures so focus on the things that you want create the image of it in your head visualize it very vividly and then go after it and this future has to be independent of other people because other people are fickle and other people um, have free will and they can change up the way that they are easily. So even if we do see them the way that they presented themselves, people still have the ability to switch and change and then that can throw us off. So what we need to do is focus on things that we can control and that means focusing on our future, focusing on things that are in our power and in our grasp and things that just can't um, switch up on us so easily. I hope that I'm making sense. This energy is so, 
<laughs> this energy is so intense it makes me feel like i'm talking like a mile a minute and i usually only feel like this when i do fire signs so it's really weird that i'm getting this energy from pisces um but yeah i just feel like like i said use that power of daydreaming and fantasizing to actually manifest things into your life that are um helpful for your future and that doesn't have to do with other people because other people have free will and other people can easily change up on you so focus on yourself focus on your money focus on your career focus on your independence focus on the things that make you happy and focus on finding internal peace even when things are not going right in your external environment so we are going to extend this reading on vimeo and i'm also going to do a second spread where i'm going to um what's it what is it called i keep forgetting what the spread is called i think it's called the the um shadow work spread or working your shadow i think it's called but yeah i'm doing two spreads in the extended this month so i will leave the link to that down below if you want to check it out again thank you so much for watching pisces and i will see you guys over on vimeo bye